Hey everyone, welcome back to the Design 305 series and we are working on designing for identity module. Well, we have covered uh, conditional access and identity protection on a high level in the previous videos. And in this one, we are going to talk about access reviews. So design for access review, before we, we think or put the considerations, let's try to understand what it is, why we need it, who's gonna review and check some example, right? That's a great way to understand anything. What it is, why we need it, who's gonna do it. So <clears throat> what is the access review? Well, if we go with the uh, name access review, it seems like, yeah, somebody is re reviewing the access of uh, users or people uh, who is trying to access maybe an application or maybe a group in a nutshell. Somebody is reviewing it, access of others, or maybe himself, doesn't matter. So with the name, we get a little idea, but to understand it, we need to look for a bigger picture. So let's see, uh, let's take an example of an employee over the time, uh, uh, employee work with the company, work in different teams, get promoted. And accordingly, he should have the access of different applications, different groups, different resources. And according to that, uh, there are certain application resources, groups, he should not have the access. Maybe he is in, uh, he is a uh, migration engineer. He should have access to the different groups. When he becomes or move to a different team, like an architect team, he would have access to a different team, or different applications groups. Maybe the access goes from contributor to read, right? So as per the profile, as per the team, the access changes of an individual, or maybe he left the company, then how you are managing or somebody joined the company, how are you managing the access? They need to be productive. So you gotta manage the access ASAP. And once they leave the company, you want to revoke the access ASAP for the security purpose, right? So by keeping this in mind, now let's get back to the access review and try to define it. Well, an access review is a planned review of the access needs, rights, and history of a user. Access reviews mitigate risk by protecting, monitoring, and auditing access of critical assets. It is more like there is a frequency where this review would happen, maybe every day, maybe monthly. And whosoever is assigned for the review will see the people who has the access to this particular application or resource should have the access or should not have the access. Accordingly, he would act. Okay, so we understand what it is, why we need it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I think uh, we are good to go and check who will conduct the reviews or maybe let's try to uh, explain a little bit. Uh, about the access review so that it will help us to understand a little better. So let's see. Access reviews help ensure that the right people have the right access to the right resource. As I gave the example, moving from team to team, maybe promoting. So right access to the right resource as per the job profile. For example, <clears throat> Access reviews could be used to review user access to application integrated with Azure AD SSO. Group membership synced to Azure AD or Microsoft 365, including Teams. Access packages that uh, group resources into a single package to manage access. Delegation. Azure AD roles and Azure resources roles as defined in PIM, privileged identity management, right? So these kind of uh, review you can, you, can, you can put there or 
access review can help you reviewing these kind of accesses, <clears throat> right? I hope now with these examples, it would make some sense, right? So <clears throat> let's see uh, who, you understand what, why, now it's time to who, who's gonna review it. Now access reviews or any review are only as good as the person doing the reviewing, right? We always say second eye, but if the second eye, the person who's supposed to review, is supposed to put his name there in the review, if he's reviewing without uh, proper concentration, proper guidelines, then it's of no use. So access reviews are only as good as the person doing the reviewing. Selecting good reviewer is critical to your success in this particular uh, field we are talking about. The creator of the access review decides who will conduct the review. And this setting cannot be changed once the review is started. So you need to sit back and think who would be the right person to review it because person should be aware what are these things and who should have the access. You, you, should not put, you should not put the business person for the technical accesses and vice versa, right? So let's see who could, who could be the reviewer. Well, resource owners who are the business owners of the resource, like the SaaS applications, or maybe one of them, one of the uh, business owner owns that application, then of course he can decide. <clears throat> uh, maybe a set of individual selected delegates as selected by the access reviews administrator or end user who will uh, do the self, self review or self attest to their need for the continued access. <clears throat> you, uh, anyone, anyone maybe, you know, uh, a person who used to do a user administrator and resetting the password for the customers or the requesters. Now he has moved to a different profile. He doesn't need that access anymore. He can decide for his own, right? So once that uh, review comes or notification comes to that person, he can simply revoke his own access, <clears throat> right? So let's quickly see uh, access plan that I have borrowed from Microsoft documentation. Let's simply go ahead and go through it. This will help us to put the cement on the knowledge that we were gathering or talking about it. Right, so <clears throat> here are the components and here are the values. For example, resource to review. Let's review the access to Microsoft Dynamics. Review frequency, let's put it monthly. Who conducts the review? Business group managers. <clears throat> there are three kinds of people who can conduct the review. We talked about it. Here, it's the business group. A notification. Well, uh, email 24 hour prior to review to uh, this particular group needed to be sent. Timeline, 48 hours from the notification. As soon as the people receive the notification, notification triggers within 48 hours, they should do the review. Now, if they forget to review, what are the automatic actions? Well, remove the access from any account that has no interactive sign-in within 90 days by removing the user from the security group dynamics access. We can do that, that can be done. Manual actions. Well, reviewers may perform removal approval prior to automated action if desired, that can be done. No need to wait for the automatic action, right? Now, communication, send internal users who are removed an email explaining they are removed and how to regain access. So it would look like this, something like this. And now this will all make sense what we talked about till now. So <clears throat> these are the things we need to keep in mind. And these are the people who can do the review for you. And these are the automatic actions, manual actions that can be performed. Well, that's all about access reviews here in this particular series. Uh, if you guys need deep dive for these things, of course, that will come uh, later in the picture if it has already not been created. So let's complete this series and we'll deep dive uh, 
Thanks for watching and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.